Hello and welcome to the Max Runout YouTube channel. My name is Paul and today we're going to talk about a project that uh, started uh, about a dozen years ago. Uh, I had a need at the time for a uh, 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 an off-road vehicle that would uh, uh, help me with uh, uh, jobs like uh, moving firewood around and uh, and uh, uh, trail maintenance and that kind of thing and uh, so I decided I was thinking about buying a, a gator but uh, then I uh, said to myself hey why not just make one uh, how hard can it be <laughs> well harder than I thought as most of these projects go but uh, I did get a start on it and uh, I uh, got some steel and I built the frame that uh, as you see here and uh, I got a start on the drivetrain uh, I got a, a transmission a garden tractor transmission and a, an engine and so on but uh, uh, things got in the way as they uh, want to do and uh, I uh, as a result I uh, uh, the thing got uh, the project got stopped and uh, the frame here sat in the barn for 10 years but then about two years ago I decided to uh, resurrect the project and uh, see if I could get things going again and uh, I did manage to get it put together and uh, and uh, ran it for a season or so and uh, but it, it had some things that were incomplete and uh, so uh, I've uh, ended up tearing it all apart uh, again and uh, I'm uh, doing a little rebuilding the main thing actually that needed to get done the frame needed to be painted I uh, I had uh, <coughs> I kind of rushed the completion of the thing and uh, I didn't get a chance to get the frame painted and uh, and I had a lot of parts that I made uh, uh, on my uh, uh, steel parts that I made on my machines here uh, none of which were uh, plated or protected from rust in any way and so I decided to have a uh, get those plated and I'll show you those in a minute and uh, and uh, put this thing together so we'll take a little walk around it here and uh, we'll see uh, uh, generally how it's made and then as I put it together I'll shoot video of uh, how the thing uh, goes together this is what the machine uh, looked like when it was uh, fully assembled. Uh, the frame is made from uh, hot rolled steel. Uh, that floor there is uh, diamond plate and aluminum. Uh, the fenders and the hood are made for, are formed actually from ABS plastic and uh, and then painted. And the box is uh, is made of uh, five quarter oak. Uh, it's about the same size and shape as the John Deere Gator, the, uh, the four-wheel Gator anyway, and uh, uh, I call it the Croc uh, because it's sort of like a Gator, but, but not exactly. Um, I uh, uh, rushed it together, got it uh, together just in time for a uh, John Deere uh, show, and uh, I was... Uh, uh, it made a big hit with uh, the folks there. Uh, a, a lot of them uh, thought initially that it was a gator until they uh, got a closer look and uh, were interested to, to see uh, how the thing went together. Uh, we're going to take a walk, uh, a little walk around the frame of our uh, crock here, uh, show you some of the uh, uh, construction details. Uh, this is a front bumper. It's a piece of, uh, well, I think it's schedule, schedule 40 or Schedule 80 pipe, I can't remember now, that uh, is welded onto the front of the frame. Uh, the frame, main part of the frame itself is 3-inch channel, and uh, uh, this is uh, the front section, and then that goes on to the rear, the lower uh, part is a three inch channel. The upper part that's three inch by a quarter inch uh, channel iron. The vertical parts and the uh, um, the upper section are uh, are eighth by uh, uh, two inch uh, um, uh, angle iron and the uprights are angle iron too. And the um, uh, up here in the front, uh, uh, this uh, brace here is for the shock tower, or for the shocks, it's, I guess the shock tower. This little thing is just for the hood, mount the hood and fender. And uh, the, uh, the uh, brackets you see right here are for mounting the A-frame. 
uh, for the front suspension. There's a pair back here and then a pair towards the front and of course on the other side as well. Uh, these vertical brackets uh, here are for mounting the, the dashboard of the unit. It's all uh, welded together and I'll have to admit that uh, most of the welding, uh, there are a few kind of sloppy looking uh, welds that were made by me but uh, I'm not much of a welder. My friend uh, uh, Eddie though is a, uh, a master welder and uh, uh, he came over and uh, did most of the welding for me. Um, uh, otherwise, it'd probably be falling apart right now. But he he does how to weld, and uh, he can weld just about anything. So I'm lucky to have uh, such a good friend. Um, anyway, uh, the seats uh, mount up here. There's one uh, seat that's mount that's temporarily installed, and uh, these brackets right here, so the seat can fold can fold forward. Uh, this uh, plate down here uh, mounts the battery and the fuel tank and the um, uh, some other accessories. Um, the um, the main uh, drive or the, the tail end of the drive system is this uh, garden tractor transmission. It's a uh, uh, Tecumseh Peerless uh, garden tractor transmission. It has uh, uh, one inch uh, axles and uh, so they're plenty uh, strong for what we're trying to do. And actually mounted on, on this point is a, will be, or you'll see in a, in a bit, will be an extension here with another bearing out uh, towards the side right next to the wheel. Um, and then of course the, there are bearings in, in here as well. So uh, <clears throat> let's see, stepping around the back here a little bit to maybe get a little better look at the uh, garden tractor transmission. This is actually a six-speed uh, transmission, and um, I don't really need all those speeds, but that's what was available. And uh, it, uh, the gear shift arrangement is right here, which turned out to be not the best thing because uh, the engine sits in front of that, and I had to uh, make a little bit of a Rube Goldberg uh, mechanism to do the gear shifting from uh, between the front seats. Um, the engine uh, mounts on another plate similar to this one, but that, that one is uh, right in here immediately ahead of the uh, transmission. And uh, uh, it's a vertical shaft engine, and actually the vertical shaft engine drives this counter shaft here uh, through a belt, and then that uh, drives the input shaft to the garden tractor transmission through a, uh, uh, a snowmobile clutch. Uh, and I'll put that all together and uh, you'll see how that goes in a minute. This is just an extension to the uh, input shaft of the garden tractor transmission. Um, so uh, let's see, that's about it for the uh, frame. We've got a trailer hitch in the back and uh, um, what else? You know, these are just, uh, this is some of the early assembly. I've done a little bit of assembly here. These are the uh, uh, angles that mount the uh, 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 the transmission and uh, I guess that's that's about it for the frame. Uh, sitting on the floor here is the engine. Um, it's a uh, 14 horse Onan vertical shaft engine and uh, uh, it's got plenty of power to move this this thing around and up and down hills and, and so on so uh, we're happy with uh, the way that works and runs. Had a little trouble with the throttle linkage at first, but uh, got that ironed out, and uh, that's working good for us. Uh, the engine and the transmission um, I bought from an outfit called Small Engine Distributors. Uh, they're in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, uh, they are uh, they're good to work with, uh, but they only sell to dealers, so. Uh, uh, they got some really good prices. Uh, they, I think they buy uh, overstocks and that kind of thing from manufacturers. Uh, and I bought the seats from them too, actually. Uh, you'll see them in a little bit. But um, uh, they only sell to dealers, so you're going to have to work out a deal with uh, a dealer in uh, your area to get signed up with them. But uh, once you do, I think you'll find uh, uh, they work pretty good. Okay, we're going to wrap up this video for now. Um, in uh, upcoming uh, 
uh, videos in this series. Um, we're going to slowly put this thing back together uh, so you can see uh, all the parts. And uh, also, there were a couple of problems uh, with the unit that we uh, observed in our uh, first uh, uh, period of uh, operating it uh, that we want to attack. And uh, I'll show you what uh, what we did there and uh, how uh, what changes we we've, we've made. And then uh, we will. Uh, finish it up and uh, at the end uh, you should see it uh, running around. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you uh, in the next video.